Hi, my name is Moneta Shaw. I am from Shreveport slash Greenwood, Louisiana. I've been living in Atlanta now for going on eight years. I have two books and right now I didn't expect to really be here. Life kind of just happened. Um, I'm excited about other books that are coming. I have one coming from my son, Mason, titled The Mysteries of Mason. And I have another one titled Maddie Goes to School, the follow-up to Adventures of Maddie. And da -da -da -da, um, because of the response that I was getting from Bigger Than Me, I felt compelled to write the other side to it. And it's titled The Other Side. And it's about co-parenting positively, keeping it classy, and maintaining balance to help people get through. Because I get those questions every single day in my email, DMs, like, girl, how do you do it? What's going on? How did you get to that point? Because I'm going through something similar. And it's, it's going to bless me. My experience on Atlanta Exits was life-changing, actually. Um, I really didn't know what to expect going into it, but it was a blessing. Um, I was able to surround myself with such amazing women who've been through what I was right deep into, and they were able to help me maneuver through it. So my overall experience was really, really amazing. You know, time heals all things, and the process was hard, but you know, we got there, and with the help of the ladies, my Lord and Savior, my, you know, family, friends, got through. My everyday go-to style, it's like a combination of Uggs, I have carpool early in the morning, kids, and I like to go work out as well, and then come back and work on my stuff, my office, so it, it just depends on the day, I will say, but more than likely you'll probably catch me in some sneakers, Lululemon, Nike, just all that good stuff. Say huh? I'm just <laughs> Say what? <clears throat> Currently, I am dating. Um, yes, yeah, someone special. I'm gonna try to keep that part as private as possible as long as possible. But dating is fun. I'm having a great time. I'm smiling. Okay. <laughs> what I am looking for in a partner would have to be. It would have to be God fearing. Um, number one, love my kids just as much as he loves me. Family oriented, super important. Trust me. Yes. No more lies. No. <laughs> and just someone down to earth and just that could laugh at themselves because I'm extremely goofy, just in case you guys don't know. And I like to have a good time, I like to laugh at myself. And someone that's goal oriented, you know, you gotta have your thing going on too and be busy and not just up under each other all the time. The perfect outfit on date night would have to depend on where we're going. Um, we like to chill a lot, so maybe like a sir, like I said, sneakers, um, or mm, nice restaurant. I'm gonna have on that little black dress, black heels, it's not the bed. So, just depends. My go to hair trends. I'm natural, have been for a while. Um, my curl pattern kind of lost it a little bit because I get it straightened every week <laughs> so yeah um, but I love perukas wigs units whatever you might call it that way I can take them off and like feel my scalp I like to run my fingers through my scalp so relaxing honey my day to day yeah I get up at 6 a.m. get the kids together both of them Maddie Mason hey y'all and no makeup Sometimes it depends on what happened the night before, if I had an event or something, I probably didn't get enough sleep, so we'll throw some shades. Yes, I am that mom. But I, I do the natural a lot and only jig it up for like the events and stuff like that. And even on event time, you might see a red lip with my little bifocals that are not prescribed. My little trick. Uh, <laughs> or just the red lip and some concealer. Dealing with Madeline's hair, I like to keep it age appropriate. Um, She's natural, so we like to put the natural products and we're really curly like it is on the Bitches and Maddie book. She loves it like that. Lately, we've been doing braids and just a deep conditioning and everything like that because it's so easy and convenient. When she grows up, we'll get to playing more. <laughs> My kids are a bundle, bundle of joy. They are so funny and have their own personality. They like to dress themselves, so I'll put little options out for them and they'll pick it but if it's a little too left I'm like okay what about this this looks good and make them think that it's like their idea but um they are definitely very independent and like to play with those and have fun with their fashions 
Maddie and Mason definitely have their own personalities. They are extremely, extremely close. They're best friends. They're each other's ride or die already at five and six. I love it. Um, you can't give one of them one thing without the other asking, like, okay, well, where's Mason's? I'm like, okay, it's coming. And that's them through and through. And I love it. And they do have, like, Maddie's more of like the diva, and you know, they're both extremely smart, like I said, and Mason's more chill. Thank God for that, because I don't know if I could have had two Maddie's. <laughs> but it's awesome, and I would not trade it for the world. As far as raising our children, um, co parenting, we speak at the times that we need to, as far as, you know, if there's a problem or there, like if there's something, like as far as bad times, like I'm all about routines, routines, and I know when they get to dad's house, not quite like that, which I understand, but you know, sometimes I you know, give them a little call or a little text, like, okay, can you please stay on the same page as me? Because when it comes kind of hard to get them back into routine and things like that. And as far as you know, dad being away a lot and coming in and out or whatever, or when they go there, um, yeah, kind of situations may happen when we're in Target and they think that they're supposed to get something every time we go somewhere. Like, yeah, so I have to call them, like, okay, can you stay with me on this one? let them know it's kind of hard to let them know that they're not supposed to get something because they're so young and they think that this is just how life is and life is not like that and I'm trying to stay on that <laughs> angle so please help me like, okay I got you thanks yes I am an actress and I have found a new agent I'm so excited Yo, is agency what up what up I'm still thinking we're on a lot of auditions and callbacks lately so watch out for that I started doing radio in my hometown, Shreveport, Louisiana, when I was 19 in college. And the bug is kind of tugging at me. I've been doing co-hosting with a few people and loving it. So some opportunities are starting to arise. Building my empire, the Evan Grace Group, and just the sky's the limit. <laughs> Since the show Atlanta Exes, like we talked about earlier, um, just everyone being there and watching me go through this breakup of the entire world, um, I was very vulnerable and they, they were there for every moment of it. And it actually touched the hearts of a lot of women and some men who were going through the same thing or maybe now they're going through the same thing. And I just, my life, just by the way that I moved, my actions inspired a lot of people and hence why I wrote the book Bigger Than Me, which revealed a lot of things that a lot of people didn't know. Um, but I felt it was very important to just be transparent and get it out and in turn motivate these women and men who needed it and the reason why I'm writing the next one is just to show the other side because on the show as well you saw the hurt the pain but you have no idea what's going on now and it's very important to see that people that people see that you can get to the other side and you can overcome and just have faith and keep going you know because it's so easy to stop Everyone can find me on social media. On Instagram, I am Moneta Shaw, M-O-N-Y-E-T-T-A-S-H-A-W. On Snapchat, I'm Moneta. And on Facebook, I think I have a Facebook page. I have a lot of fake ones, but it's a real one. Moneta S. Shaw, I think. <laughs> and my website, um, MoneataShaw.com.